So today we're here at the Avonmouth Docks Wind Park to see where some of the green electricity in the UK gets generated. So in this wind park there are three turbines generating about 13 gigawatt hour of electricity a year. That's enough to support about 5,500 people and a lot more than what all of our factories and all of our shops in the UK would use in a year. With me is Maddy from Ecotricity, the company who builds these turbines and supplies us the electricity. So Maddy, can you tell us a little bit about Ecotricity and how these wind turbines ended up here? Ecotricity, we're a, we're a green electricity company. We supply electricity up and down the UK to businesses and homes. And we take the money we make from selling electricity and we reinvest it into building wind turbines because we think it's the best way to, to fight climate change. But we're not getting the electricity directly from these turbines. How does our green tariff work? Well, these turbines feed into the grid. So I like to think of the national grid in the UK as a bit like an electricity soup. So there's a certain amount of green in there. There's a certain amount of nuclear, of coal, of gas. At the moment, there's only about 5% green in there. So all your shops and your factories will pull energy directly from the grid still anyway. But what we do is we put in the same amount of green electricity as you take out. So it's, a, it's an allocation thing. That's how it works. And we made a special deal for our customers and staff with Ecotricity. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Um, well, for your customers, if uh, any of your customers sign up through your website, through our website, Quoting Lush, then we'll give them a £20 voucher for, to spend in a, all the Lush shops. Wow. Um, and for your staff, if any of your staff want to sign up, if they just phone or go on the website and they quote BSD, which stands for Business Staff Discount, Lush, then they'll get a £25 discount off their first year's bill. And another question that I know uh, a lot of people would ask you, what about birds and the effects on the ecosystem? We're here in the Severn Estuary, so, and I believe there's lots of wildlife and it's quite a place of outstanding beauty. Mm. So how do you go about making sure that no birds are harmed and making sure that the impact is as low as possible? Well, we at Ecotricity, we're really responsible developers, so we work to what we have. We have a good neighbour policy. That means if we cannot guarantee a turbine will have no negative effects on people or wildlife nearby, then we will not build it. So what we've done here is this area underneath this turbine is a set-aside area for nesting for birds. Um, they like nesting in the gravel. Right. So at certain times of year, this will have birds' nests on it. There's also this bund you see behind you that we made to minimise any noise problem during construction. Before these turbines were built, we did 12 months worth of bird monitoring on the site um, and looked into every other kind of aspect of the site that, that it may have a negative effect on. And we were more than happy, it got planning permission and we got through. Um, and since they've been up, there's been absolutely no problems whatsoever. Also, another problem with wind turbines that people say is that they're really noisy, so they don't want them near their houses. Is that truth? Is it a myth? And how do you go about making sure that people are happy? Well, we're standing under one today and as you can see it's turning and not making a huge amount of noise. Um, the, the machines we use are direct drive and gearless, which basically means there's no mechanical noise. So the only noise you will get is of the blades passing through the air on occasion, but, but as you can see, it's really not a problem. When we do planning applications, we do noise monitoring in people's gardens and nearby, just so that we can be 100% sure it's not going to be an issue for people. So thank you very much, Maddie. They're really silent, they're beautiful. I call them hippie geek porn.